Michael, what's your sense of, of Austin and his sense of anticipation to get back in after serving the suspension? Yeah, I'm sure he's very excited to uh, to get back in a game. Um, you know, I know he doesn't like missing any game and games, and uh, you know it was unfortunate. But uh, yeah, we move on from it, and I'm sure he's really excited for tomorrow. He, he said, you know, he's never sure how the rhythm is going to be coming off a break. Mm -hmm. uh, what's what's your sense of him in practice? Yeah, he still has has it uh, in practice. He's yeah, he's competing out there and he's still pulling off all his moves. So I'm sure he's going to be fine. Um, maybe maybe one shift he might be off, but if that, um, I don't think so. I think he's going to be right into the groove again. How do you take these past couple of performance, performances, sort of go defensively and move forward with them? Yeah, yeah I thought I thought you know um, we played well um, the last few games. Um, not giving up much, not giving up much, and then also creating a lot as well. So I thought those those two games were really good, and we got to build off them and, and look forward to tomorrow. Do you have any theory as to why Austin can't draw more penalties? I don't know about that. I don't. I don't know. Uh, yeah, he has the puck all the time, and people are always all over him. But uh, yeah, I guess that's just uh, up to the refs and what they call. What do you notice the difference between playing with uh, with Austin and John for the last couple of games? Well, they're both very exceptional players. Johnny works so hard. He's always around the net, uh, and he's making a lot of plays as well. And, you know, playing with Matty as, as well, he's more of a perimeter out there making moves and, and taking shots. So uh, that's really the only difference. But both of them are, are great players, and both are a lot of fun to play with. Austin was getting reps with the PK during his uh, suspension. What was that like going head-to-head -head with him in that context? Yeah, he, did, he doesn't want to go against our power play ever again, I think. <laughs> no, we, uh, yeah, we had some fun out there with him on the PK, um, and I think we scored a couple goals, so uh, we let him know. <laughs> kind of impression of Shulman leading on the group. Well, I think we have a good idea. Yeah, he's, he's playing great. He stepped, he stepped up for us, and he's so calm in the net, and he's even calm off the ice. Um, yeah, he doesn't show a lot of emotion. I think that's why he's doing so well. He doesn't let anything get get, get him bothered or get him off his game. He, he's in there. He's, he's dialed in, and, and it's a lot of fun to see. Have you seen him smile? Yeah, I've seen him smile. I've, I have seen him smile. Yeah, yeah. That post-game shower you guys gave him the other night, I'm sure there's a bit of smiling going on. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he, he enjoyed that. And, you know, that, that was awesome for him to get his first shutout and his first start. So he gets that out of the way, and he moves forward, and, and he keeps shutting the door for us. It's your last game uh, before the trade deadline tomorrow night. It's always, I mean, you guys are in a great spot, of course, in this mm -hmm. game, but it's always a bit of a weird time. What's your sense of the group in that regard? Yeah, I think our group's doing great with it. We just kind of not don't really talk about it. We don't really worry about it. And, you know, that's that's not our job to, to worry about that thing. I think our our job is just to, you know, play hard every single night. And, you know, obviously trade deadline's coming up, so you don't know what's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, we just uh, don't pay any attention to that.